All right. All right. We are live here in the Neolife Healthy Living Community Facebook group. And I've been looking forward to this interview for several weeks now. I uh, have the pre uh, privilege and the pleasure uh, and the honor to get to interview um, an NFL wide receiver uh, for the, the Tennessee Titans, actually, as well as um, a Neolife sponsored athlete. And um, um, and also someone who's become a very good friend of my wife, Nicole, and myself, Cody Hollister. Uh, Cody, first of all, thank you so much for uh, taking time to, to out of your busy day and to hop on here and let me ask you some questions. Anything for you, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, before I jump into asking Cody some questions, we'd love to hear where you're coming in from. This is a group pushing up near 8,000 members here, a private Facebook community. And uh, I know we have people from all around the country, all around Canada, and even way beyond that. So I'd love to have you drop in the comments where you're popping in from. And, um, and that, that's always fun to see. Also, if you're, you hear some information on here and you want to learn more, um, you know, Cody's taking his time to, to share with us here in this interview. But uh, please don't reach out to Cody directly. Feel free to reach out to whoever invited you into this private Facebook community. I'm sure they could you know, get you whatever information you might want to learn about the products. If so, uh, if you have more questions or more follow-up. Also, we'd love to hear your experiences and your stories. So please feel free to, to make a post in this group. This is a community of others encouraging others uh, with your health, you know, experiences, your health journey, your health transformation, and of course, your positive experiences with the Neolife products. Um, want to just share my screen here real quick and uh, show you what we're, what we're, who we're talking to here. But uh, these are just some pictures I pulled off of Cody's, or not pulled off, this is his Instagram page, Cody Hollister. And uh, just some pictures on his uh, uh, page there with the uh, Tennessee Titans and super, again, super excited to get to have him on here with us today. So with that, Cody, I wanna stop sharing my screen and jump back to you and ask if we could just start, if you don't mind, just. Tell everybody just a little bit about yourself, your background, personally, where you grew up, your family, your, you know, just a quick snapshot of your football career up to this point, colleges, high school, all that good stuff. Yeah, so uh, I'm from Bend, Oregon, and if no one's been to Bend, it's this beautiful place. Uh, everyone thinks of Oregon as rainy, but Bend is like this little pocket of just vacation town and, and beautiful mountains and rivers, and uh, so I grew up there with a twin brother. Uh, who also plays football for the Seahawks. Currently, he's a free agent now. But And then I have three sisters, an older sister, Shelby, middle sister, Sierra, and youngest sister, Haley. My mom and dad, I have some, some step-parents. I've just got a bunch of family there in Oregon. Uh, I was raised there, always a sports guy. Me and my whole family were a big athletic family. Mom and dad, both athletes. Uh, dad, especially uh, in college, played, played baseball. And then when we were kids, it was – especially for me and my brother, but all of our siblings, you know, for them, it was, it was volleyball. The sisters were volleyball and, and Haley was music and um, whatever we wanted to succeed at, you know, my dad was definitely willing to, to give us all options to succeed at them. And, um, and just every facet of, of life, he was willing to make it happen for us. So at, you know, really young age, me and my brother, we were dead set on being NFL players. And my dad laid out like all the sports in front of us, football, baseball, basketball, hockey, soccer, and we played all of them. Like we, ever since we were little, we were multi-sport athletes and, but we were just always in love with football. And so we played, uh, but ever since we were like nine years old, I mean, we were driven little kids. <laughs> my dad instilled it in us and same with mom, but at my dad's house, it was like, you know, at commercial breaks, you'd be like, hey, guys, I'm not going to make you do anything, but if you want to, every day you can do 300 push-ups, 300 sit-ups, and and twice a day, and, and during commercial breaks and TV, and he was like, you can do this if you want to succeed, and I'll do everything I can to help you, and so we would do body weight stuff like that um, to save our joints and, and, and be healthy until we were past puberty, and so my dad just coached all of our teams, coached us up in every way he could and all the knowledge he had already and then got us help where we needed to and um but so that was you know as a young kid all the way through up until high school was pretty much my dad like you know pushing us along and so the support of my mom and stepdad and stepmom as well but but once we got to high school it was kind of like we 
you know, we had the support, but then me and my brother kind of took it to be our own and he was a quarterback. I was a wide receiver. So we just had a blast doing that. We ended up winning state our senior year together, which was just surreal and like the biggest blessing ever. And you think you feel like you just won the Super Bowl as a high school kid, <laughs> Friday night lights. You're like, yeah. you literally just feel like you won it all. And we won state. So coming out of high school, we thought like we, we had just played three sports our, our whole life, all the way through high school. And then coming out of high school, we said, all right, we want to for sure, you know, play college ball and play D1 ball as everyone's dream. And, and we heard the st uh, statistics our whole life of, of, you know, the percentages and, and, but we just never cared. My dad was and my, and my mom, but just speaking life into us of, of my dad just saying like, you will be this and you will make it and, and you will grow. And I was five, eight sophomore year of high school. Now I'm six, four. And, and, um, so my wow. dad just always spoke that life into us of, of sometimes when we didn't even believe fully. Um, but it wasn't until after high school, we said, all right, we want to play D1 ball, but we didn't get any scholarship offers. I'm talking zero out of high school. We, we broke all the records as a wide receiver and quarterback and zero offers out of high school other than Minnesota Crookston, a D2 offered like 70% scholarship. And so we walked on at the University of Nevada um, and it was just embarrassing for us. I mean, it shouldn't be embarrassing, but like we thought we were going to get offers. And, and so my dad suggested we walk on there and we had to talk with our mom and everyone. And, and we walked on to Nevada with our heads down, like almost embarrassed because we had friends signing to places. And, and here we were like just humbling ourselves, walking on, paying money that we couldn't afford. So we got in $10,000 of debt each, me and my twin brother. And we looked at each other that first week of camp there and we were like, dude, do we just turn back? Like, should we just head back and go work for our stepdad and do floors or something? And, and the Lord's just always never, we, we say like, no quit is our saying, um, because the Holy spirit inside of us has just never allowed us to quit in our life, even when we want to truly. Um, and so we just pushed through, we knew we, we knew we were supposed to be there, even though it was painful. And so $10,000 each in debt later, we took out loans. And we said we couldn't afford it anymore. So we left after one semester, went to Arizona Western Junior College. I uh, got a full ride there by the grace of God. I don't know how. We sent in our highlights and they offered us. And and we played a full year there in Yuma, Arizona, in the middle of nowhere. I'm talking like 10 minutes from the border of Mexico, like just in a field pretty much, like just in the middle of nowhere. And so we played there for a year, got re-recruited. I went to Arkansas. He went to Wyoming on full rides. Um, and then we played there for three years, you know, I could go into detail about that too. Just a lot of things happened. And then we ended up with the Patriots together after college for two years, or, yeah, for two years together, went to two Super Bowls together, won a Super Bowl, and then we split up now with the Titans. He's with, with uh, the Seahawks. Hey, and you so know, that's I, a summary of the football journey. I love it. And so you, Arkansas Razorback, right? You were in the SEC there your last two years of college. Is that correct? Yeah, so I last three. So last three. went to I redshirted at Nevada, transferred to Arizona Western Junior College, and then in Arkansas for for my last three years. Okay, wow, so cool. And um, in, in case anybody didn't catch what Cody said in in there, is he and his brother Jacob, who's tight end for the Seahawks, as he mentioned, are twin brothers. So they were both seniors in high schools. I can just picture that. You're the wide receiver. He's the quarterback. He's now obviously been shifted over to tight end in the NFL, but, um, and you guys are the one, two punch win in state and then no full ride scholarship. I, I could only imagine, but that didn't stop you guys from grinding and working and obviously both making it to the NFL, both with Super Bowl rings now to, to show for it and maybe more to come. Uh, you're both still young. So that's exciting. What, what is it like before we jump into the nutrition aspect of things and some questions I have for you, Cody, as an NFL wide receiver, what is it like just in general being in the NFL? I mean, I know that's a big question, but what's, what's, I know that's what people all want to know. What's it like? Yeah. I mean, I think with any job, it's easy to immediately go to the hard parts, but I always got to start with the just blessing and, and truly like I was a, 10 year old kid every time it hit 11 11 or on my birthday I was sitting there blowing out the candles asking God to just play in the NFL and so 
first of all, it's just a blessing. Like I, there's nothing I'd rather do. I love football. I love playing in the NFL. I love the guys. I love the game. I love the competitiveness and I just love everything about it. I mean, you get paid to truly do what you love. And so I love it. I've always been passionate about it since I was a little kid on Halloween, wearing a Jersey every Halloween. And um, so it's amazing. First of all, it's just awesome. It's, and then there's just the side of like, it's, it's unpredictable. You know, one day you could get, I could get cut tomorrow. Like just who knows I've been cut, I think five times now and, and re-signed and practice squad and 53 and, and cut to a different team, sign a different team, try out, not signed, go try out somewhere else, sign. Sounds stressful. Sounds stressful. Yeah, it really is. Stressful. And yeah, for sure. And you, and you got to live on that, that edge of stress and be willing to. And if you, if you can't, then you're not going to sustain it. And um, so it's a really, you could call it stressful, but it's just a high pressure job, just like anything else. But I think any, any successful person, um, has to live underneath that stress and, and mm-hmm. pressure. And so I really enjoy it. I enjoy living life on the edge and with high risk and selling my car back home and moving on a whim with the faith of like, Lord, you're going to keep me here. And I've done that where I, you know, I just have the, I got to go with a step of faith of like, Lord, you're going to open a door even before you really do. And if you don't, I'll still trust you, but you know, I'm going to leave everything behind and and in a month, I could not be signed, but I'm just going to trust that I will. And just stuff like that, where as a single man, it's a lot easier if I had a family, maybe a little bit more mapped out. But but it's truly, you know, there's nothing else I'd rather do. Um, and I just love it. And then it's definitely intense to way more analytical and, and intellectual than people would probably ever imagine. Um, it's truly like calculus on the field. And especially even from college through the pros, it's it's way it's just so the coaches and the players are just very, you got to be intelligent to be people at football players get a bad stigma. And I'm not going to say everyone is one way, but, but very intelligent, hardworking, dedicated people in that building in every building. But um, you gotta, you gotta be able to be, you know, very intellectual to be in those buildings and learn. I can't even begin to go into detail of how, intricate an offense is or reading a defense or adjustments you make or um and then having to go perform it and so there's the intellectual side and then there's performing it and then so that's without even putting the action in yet so i could talk for days on yeah on the respect you know we should have for coaches and these guys that just invest so much time uh including ourselves but but then the reward is we love to do it and we've always wanted to do it Right. Absolutely. How exciting. So that's probably a perfect segue into talking about nutrition. And um, I want to ask you just kind of a broader question. Then I want to kind of drill it down a little bit more as it relates to nutrition. But I mean, I I think we all probably know the answer, but to this first question, but how important do you feel? I mean, we know nutrition is important to you, but how important is nutrition? If you can kind of put that in perspective or just give us a, a picture of how important nutrition is to you personally for your life and your career specifically, but not even related just to not only for your career. I mean, you're dealing with stress, you're dealing with performance. There's a lot of aspects to health and nutrition. I'm sure. How, how important is that to you? Yeah, I think the more you just work on your craft and anything in life, you start to fine tune the details. And, and for me, I never really, stress the importance of nutrition until after college college I mean I ate I shouldn't say terrible but you know when I was at football I ate great but outside of that you know I'm a college kid eating whatever and whatever's in front of me and um but nutrition has become really really crucial in my life um just a non-negotiable in my life uh and my little sister Sierra has been a big part of that she she's a nutritionist um now and she she's just kind of taking the reins on, on really studying and, and even influencing us. And, but yeah, being a professional athlete, you just start to want to take advantage of every single avenue of life. And nutrition is one of the largest ones. Like you can't be the best you're going to be and not have a good nutritional diet. And, and so for, for me, like when it comes to eating habits, it's really, I'm not some strict guy measuring calories or carbs. Like I'm not, I'm not that guy at all. I'm just definitely a guy that's going to eat real food and, and, and try to stick to just a real food diet. 
you know, even Gronk, when I was on the Patriots, he said something like that. And it always stuck with me. He's like, he was joking. He's like, just eat real food. Like just, just eat real food. And it made, made a lot of sense. Um, so for me, it's, it's not like crazy mapped out, uh, but nutrition. And then we can even obviously get into the neo life stuff is, is everything to me. I'm going to always, you know, fuel my body. That is, is my job with the best of the best Yeah, because I want to be the best. So, and I, and I can't relate with playing professional athlete, you know, uh, being a professional athlete because I never have been and never will be, but, um, I can relate. Say never. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> uh, I can relate with playing, being a high school athlete and even a college athlete in base in baseball, different sport. And I can very much relate with just as a high, as a teenager, let's say, just eating anything and everything and not really giving two cents thought about what I was really fueling my body, not only sure. right then, but for the long term career I might have had in the major leagues that I was hoping for and, and then never had, or the post major league or NFL career. What would you say to somebody who I'm sure there's plenty of, you know, uh, elementary, high school, and even college age athletes that will be here in this interview what would you say to them um when they're in that age of say you know high school or even younger how important nutrition is that you might have wished you could say to your younger self well that's the thing because you don't just like anything in life i mean you could apply this to emotional health mental health physical health but if you don't know if you've never experienced healthy sometimes you just don't know and if all you've you know for example you know if you've experienced emotional dysfunction your whole life then you don't know what functional is. And so same thing with nutrition. Like I just grew up, I mean, my mom fed me great, dad fed me great, but I wasn't like, you know, I was at lunch buying the cheapest option, some Taco Bell or, you know, whatever I could get my hands on and barely drinking water, like barely drinking water, drinking soda, like just terrible. I thought like one bottle of water a day was good for game day. And that's probably the only days I would chuck some water and, and the thing is, you don't know your limit. Like you don't, you don't know your, you put a ceiling on yourself because you don't know what healthy even is. So for me, like I had no idea what it was like to play hydrated or, or play healthily fueled or, and so it's not until you actually experience it when you're like, oh, I wasn't healthy because when you're not healthy, you're just like, well, this is just how it is. And, and you start to just buy the lie that you're like, you're at your peak performance when you're just not until you start supplementing supplementing right and eating right and hydrating right and sleeping right and and then you're like oh my gosh I never knew I could feel this good and then it's not until you feel that good when you're like whoa you know I was missing out this whole time and and so then you never want to go back to that place but when you're in that place you're like yeah this is normal right yep exactly and I think so many people can relate with that even many people ourselves included personally and other people hundreds of other people that we've talked to that even aren't athletes, they're just living a normal level of energy and what they think is their normal level of quality sleep and their normal level of vitality and other functions of life. And it's not until they start fueling well with, like you said, real food, whole food, uh, nutrition. I love that Gronk said that it's like, as opposed to processed food or, Mm -hmm. you know, um, in the supplement world supplements, not based on whole food, real food, you know, stuff from maybe natural stuff, but it's not stuff that we eat. So, um, it's a big difference, but anyway, pretty exciting to, to get to feel the difference that the body can feel when fueled properly. You mentioned your serious sister, uh, Sierra is a nutritionist. Is she, is she, uh, and she's helped you a lot with nutrition and all. I want to ask you about your team nutritionist as well, but, but for Sierra, is she taking the Neolife products and does she recommend you use them? Yeah, so me and Sierra start, I think we started doing it at the same exact time, I think. She might have started taking it earlier than me. But uh, we originally uh, started taking them through Janice. And I think, you know, you know Janice, but yep. Janice Johnston, Johnson and, um, and Chad Johnson, they, they suggested it to me. And, and I, had, I have so much respect for them where I was like, anything you say, I'll try. And and so they were just so high on it because I had back surgery and, and just a lot of pains that just like I just mentioned, you start to think like, oh, this is just the way it is and the way I'll feel for the rest of my life. And I got some nerve pain and all this different stuff and my back hurts and 
joint pain and stuff. And you're just like, ah, oh, you leave it to like, oh, I'm just getting older and played football. And, and you just start like, you know, saying those things are okay. And but I talked to engineers and she was like, no, like you, God wants you healthy and all this different stuff. And I was like, all right. And she was like, you gotta just try this. And I'm trying to talk all sweet like her, but <laughs> she was like, you gotta just try this. And, and I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll run it through my guy and, and see if it checks off and everything. And, and so did some research on it, sent it over and, and it passed through at least. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just give it a trial run for, cause I wasn't just about to like sign something and, and not know it. And so I tried it for like three months. I what, took it when, every sorry day. Sorry to interrupt you, Cody, D, but when was this just so everyone can know the timeline when you tried it for three months, I want you to keep going, but was this last this summer? Was, yeah. Last summer. So okay. like 2020 summer of 2020. Yeah. Like June, July, August okay. range, or maybe okay. even before that. So okay. like May, June, July range. Yep. And so I started trying it. And at first, you know, you don't, you're just taking supplements. You don't know. I mean, you're peeing like neon yellow, but, <laughs> but you're like, I don't know what it's doing to me. And then it wasn't like, it wasn't like for me, this some drastic like day where I'm like, Oh, I just feel amazing. It was just, I was just suddenly being like, I feel kind of good. And I don't know if it's some drastic thing, but, but I'm just feeling well, like I'm just feeling healthy and, mm -hmm. and it's not like I'm sitting there looking in the mirror, just like, Oh, now I'm suddenly jacked up. It was just like, no, I just feel like healthy, like my joints feel good. And, and so me and Sierra started taking it. She would just take pro vitality and I would take all the stuff I'm taking. Like what? With, go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and share for all, all the listeners uh, live and they'll be listening to the replay. What, what do you take? Gosh, I take, <laughs> I take a lot the pro vitality, the nutrition pack, the sports pack, um, which has all that stuff in it. And then I take the protein powder, uh, the sports uh, protein powder, the whey protein. Um, I take the salmon oil. I take the motion one. What's full it called? Motion. The full motion. Yep. Full motion. Yep. I take. Uh, you take endurance. Like there's a couple others. Those Do you take endurance and yeah, biotone. Endurance. And biotone or no? The biotone at night. Yeah. Okay. So I take both, but I do the yeah. So the one during the day and the one at night. Yep. And so those are, I at least definitely take all those. Um, and then I've even, you gave me some of the uh, immune uh, the tray. defense one. The, the defense. tray drink or the phyto defense. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That and then the phyto defense. And mm -hmm. um, so I just, yeah, I pack every day I'm on it and I'm packing it and, and I've loved it truly. Like I've just, the shakes I do two a day, um, just supplement it with what I'm eating. And, and then the supplements are great. And like I said, I mean, it's just, I feel healthy and this full, this first, this last season for me was the first season, I think in my NFL career where I made it a full season without ever sitting out or and I, given I wasn't playing all the games, I played two games, but, but other seasons, you know, I had things for sure. And some were like big things, you know, rolling ankle really bad or, or separate a shoulder back surgery or you know big things but but it just felt nice to at least in my head be like no it was, it was a healthy season and i feel really good and um right. so yeah me and me and sierra have been taking it for a while now she loves it she says she, she feels good and and i'm definitely without a doubt i already told my marketing guy like you know i want to continue doing it when this expires i want to sign up again and and do another contract and I love it. And, and I want to ask you about the, uh, the sponsorship and um, Neo Life, you know, not paying any of their sponsored athletes one single dollar and why you would do that for, for no money when other companies would pay you and, and offer to pay you. So I want to circle back around that before we wrap it up here shortly. But, um, but new team nutritionist, what won't ask you about that back to your program and what you're taking, do your team nutritionist, uh, like say for the Titans now or with the Patriots in the past, your first two years in the NFL or two or three, um, do they give a specific regimen to each player or do they just leave it up to you or what, what just without going into too much detail on that, just big picture, like what is their role in that? How does that work? Yeah, it just depends on the team. So just like any business, every team is different. And so you may have a, 
nutritionist on one. I've only had two teams, the Patriots and Titans, and they both have nutritionists. And But it's really, like, up to the player of how much uh, you want to utilize them. And so, you know, I don't really talk to ours a ton, but she's awesome. And But, but for me, it's like, you know, you're a professional athlete, and so it's kind of subject up to you and what you want to do and your workouts and what you eat, and everyone's so different. They know their bodies at this point. And so for me, I definitely would kind of filter through my trainer back home, uh, Kevin Boss, and and even my sister, and you know people that I just I'm working with all the time, and um, and Janice. So yeah, and Janice. And Janice. Yeah. Okay, I gotta ask, I gotta ask you, Cody, why? So why? What was it about Janice and Chad who shared Neo Life with you? Because they're not in the for you know the thousands of people in this group that don't know who they are. They're not. They're just regular Joes, you know, um, they're, they're amazing people. I know them personally. They're actually my cousins, but, um, they're, they're not in, a, in the NFL and they're not nutritionists and they're not medical doctors or anything like that. They're not in health, you know, professionally at all. What was it about them that, that was able to grab your ear and have you pay attention to what Janice was sharing with you about how Neolife was so unique for an NFL player like yourself? It was honestly just my trust with them. I mean, even as human beings, they're they're these strong believers who the Lord totally blessed us with to have over quarantine time, you know, a few months there early last year. And and we just got to bond with their family and and it was really just their testimony of even the product of of their lifestyle and, and all their kids and and seeing them literally like if you haven't seen their family, I mean, they're just this amazing, amazing family, bunch of freak athletes and, yeah. and they're healthy. Chad and Janice are healthy and, and full of life. And, and so you just, for me, it was just like her word meant everything to me. I trusted her. And, and so for her to bring it up, I knew it wasn't some incentive. It was just like, no, I really want you healthy. Like mm. more than anything that could benefit her. It was just genuinely like, gosh, I want you whole and healthy and, and cause I was in some pain and stuff and, and she just brought it up. She was like really inspired to just see me healthy. And, and so I was really just trusting her word. And then, and then I said, I'd try it out myself. And, and once I tried it out, I was, I was all on board. Yeah. So, so if I heard you right, your trust for them, their, the vitality and athleticism and health within their own family and their track record of using them for, I don't know how long now, probably close to 20 years. For sure. So those, that's what you saw. That makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Uh, well, I'm glad you did. And uh, as a result, I'm glad we got to meet and we've got to be great friends. And uh, I believe you're healthier because of it, which it sounds like you believe that too, which is exciting. And, sure. and I did want to ask you too, I mean, do you view this as more than just performance and recovery today? Are you viewing this as nutrition for a lifetime too, for your, your mental health and your immunity and your uh, you know, aging, you know, it's a long way away at 26 or however old you are, 26, 27, you know, when you start thinking about 50, 60, 70s, 80 year old, but believe me, it gets here pretty quick. I'm getting ready to turn 50 in a year. So I know, but mm -hmm. it's flown. But anyway, do you think about all those other facets of health too, besides just performance today? Oh, for sure. That's, and that's why I'm even uh, taking it is I don't want to take something that I'm trying to just you know, use for a certain amount of time and, and then your body's just like, and then switching up to something else and you're like on this roller coaster ride of supplements. And I'm just, I want something always in food and anything I want to be sustainable. And, and mm -hmm. so with Neolife, it was definitely just like a more of a healthy lifestyle instead of, you know, some season of life. For me, it's like something I want to continue doing. And um, so for me, it was, you know, football is, is a part of my life right now. And, and hopefully God willing will be a lot longer. And, but neo life for me, isn't just, you know, geared towards football. It's definitely just my healthy lifestyle of living. And, and so that would continue, you know, till the day I go to heaven. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Love that mindset. So important. I don't know how many have that as athletes at, at your age, but uh, ho hopefully, hopefully many do. Um, anyway, Hey, I've got two final questions for you be really three before this, before this one, but I know some athletes, uh, or parents of athletes or athletes would be, have the concern rightly. So if they're taking Neolife products, you know, how would, how would they do on a, on a drug test for, you know, a, a performance enhancing drug test? 
you know, maybe at a college level or Olympic level or professional level, you've, you've been tested at, at least once or twice, or maybe three times now since being on these products since last summer, is that correct? And how did the test show up for you? Yeah. So that was a big concern of mine in the very beginning. I was like, is it, will I pass, you know, cause there's no way I can risk doing that, you know, cause if right. you fail a drug test for football or any sport, you're suspended, you know, you're paid, you don't get paid, probably get cut, like just, and so I wasn't going to risk that. And so I, I like one, one, I send it to people, I send it to people I trusted and had them check it off. And then I looked at every single thing on there and, and, ran, and ran it by what's, what's, uh, what's legal and, and, you know, the NFL and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and it all seemed to pass. And I mean, even though I knew it was going to pass, even like the drug test day, I was like, I was like, right. hopefully I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's your career. But I really, Everything. I mean, I really did know I was good, but still, I mean, anyone would just wonder. And yeah, I mean, I was tested a couple of times. I, I don't even know how many times I don't, we get tested so much. Sometimes I don't know if it's sometimes for like a PD or weed or whatever. I'm just taking tests a lot. Uh, but yeah, definitely a couple of times for PEDs and, and it got to where I wasn't even thinking about it anymore. I yeah. just knew I was good and taking all my stuff and everything. Yep. Love it. Love it. So for anyone that might be concerned about that, that's uh, something I'm sure they'd want to hear. Yeah, from you, can, experience. You, can, you can take the word from someone who was like, I'm the most skeptical of any product. And, and I want to make sure because I've worked my whole life and, and I would right. never put that at risk. And, and so you can, you can be at ease from my words of just being like, you're good. I mean, all the products I take, you know, I can't speak yep. on every single product, but the yep. products that I just named off, uh, I'm for, are for sure. You know, I've, I've been taking those every day for the past months and like almost a year now or whatever and taking plenty of drug tests. So I'm good. Yep. Awesome. Love it. Two last questions. And I kind of alluded to this one a minute ago. How, I believe you've said you've been offered, you know, uh, compensation from other say nutritional companies, uh, supplement companies or whatnot. And Neolife has many sponsored athletes around the world, you know, um, you know, call it or uh, Olympic athletes, professional athletes in various sports. And Neolife does not compensate their sponsored athlete like Cody, one single dollar. So can you confirm you have had other offers of compensation from other companies I, I, that I'm understanding correctly? And that you chose Neolife to become a sponsored athlete, and it was like a one-year contract. And as you just said on this interview, you want to up that again when it renews in the summer or whenever. But um, for zero dollars, zero comp, you know, dollars paid to you, is that true? And if so, why would you choose Neolife over other companies that might pay you? Yeah, so I've never had a company like say they'll give me money just to be with them, but they've definitely offered their product. And then like, if I promote it, I've had stuff where they're like, Hey, we'll give you a certain amount or whatever. And, um, but for Neolife, it was so about, you know, cause I could go through other companies and, and get like a chunk of stuff there and then promote them and great, you know, and then I could get like my supplements over here and, and collagen and different things. And, and, but with Neolife, it was like all inclusive, which I just loved. It was like, I know I'm getting all my stuff, you know, it's all on the same page and, and, and yeah, some of it, like what I like to be paid for it, like, sure. But then with them, it was, it was just all inclusive. And I just so well trusted to the point where when I was trying it before I tried it, I wasn't sure. I was like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I won't even like it. And, but once I started trying it, I was like, okay, I really like this and I really like it. And, and so I was willing to, at that point, at first I was going to sign a longer contract and, and I wasn't set on it. And so I was like, you know what, let's just do a year. Cause once you sign with one product, you know, you can't promote any other products. So other products can't send me stuff and, and I promote it. Like it's just against the agreement. And, and so you gotta be, you know, sure. And, and, but I was, so I, so I said a year so that I could test it out and, and then not like confine myself to one product. But after this year, like I already texted my marketing guy. He didn't even bring it up. I just texted him like, hey, sign us back up, man. Let's, let's do this thing again. And because without a doubt in my mind, I'm just like, there's no question I want to do it. Um, 
So Neo Life, yeah, it just sold itself, honestly, for me. I was very, I was probably one of the most skeptical people you'd ever know in the very beginning. And um, I'm not just going to, you know, think that something's happening and convince my body emotionally. It's like, no, I got to really see results. And, but I'd be the first to be like, yeah, my skepticism was crushed. And, and now I'm, now I'm going to re-sign up my contract and everything. And, and I mean, that, that's just the truth in itself is, is I just love it. I really do love it so much to where I want to stick with them regardless of if, if someone offered me to pay me something, it would just cringe because I'm like, yeah, it'd be nice to be paid, but it's just, I can't go away from your life. I just love it too much. Well, I appreciate that. I think that's a super powerful. It is a super powerful testimony to the products. I mean, it's one thing for people to say something that they're getting, you know, paid to say it's another thing again, for someone to make the choice to, to be here, taking what they believe is the best nutrition. They can real food, as you said, nutrition, they can be fueling their body with, and even foregoing the the ability to be able to earn income from other companies that might want to, you know, pay, give you paid endorsements or whatnot. And, so. just, and just like the values of the company is what I, because like even Janice mentioning, you know, some Christian background and, and even just like high integrity behind if she's so, and if you're on it and, and, and you guys are all like part of the leadership and then I'm like, you know, all on board for, it's the leadership like that, that you're willing to, you know, not even, you know, if someone offered me to pay me something, I'd be more willing to take a hit or less than with someone that I just like is for me, like for the kingdom or, or, or like for leadership that I really agree with or trust. And, mm -hmm. and so part of it is the people of, of being like, gosh, I just love the people so much that, that it makes you feel like more of a family than, than a product or, or like, you know, a workhorse or something. Yeah. More than just big business. Yeah. I feel the same way. Um, last question for you, Cody. Thank you so much for your time. I know this has gone longer than I told you, but you've, I've had so many questions that I wanted to ask you. And I think our listeners probably want to hear the answers to, and you've done a great job sharing from the heart, um, your perspective and a lot of golden information for uh, up and coming athletes that, that I'm sure many would love to follow in your footsteps and have an NFL or NBA or, whatever kind of major league baseball, whatever it is, career themselves. But how do you see your future? My last question for you, how do you see your future just in general, moving forward, career-wise and beyond now that Neolife is a part of, of your, you know, obviously a year ago, you didn't know about Neolife. So now you do. What, how do you see the future today differently, maybe even than a year ago? Yeah, I mean, like I mentioned before, <clears throat> with, my, uh, with my health, especially when I had back surgery, I you can so easily get caught into the, to the mindset of like surviving and like, oh, how far can I push my career and how long can I last pretty much? Like you feel, feel like you're lasting right. and surviving and getting through. And that's just people in life, like a wrong belief system of, of like, I guess got to like push this career a little bit longer and right before I break. And, right. but then my mindset has completely changed. I feel like the Lord, the Lord first changed my mindset and then it was not um, a coincidence that Neo Life came in right, right alongside that of, of like, no, this is not a survival mindset of, of like just pushing through, you know, barely scratching by the last of your, you know, to try and get a career out of this or it's more just like, no, I can have a very healthy lifestyle and even a career that, that is very healthy and sustainable and yeah and just healthy living even past football like I don't want to come out of football and be like oh I'm, I'm all beat up and like I just don't think that way anymore when I started to believe that lie of people when they're like oh, I'm just old it's like no you no, you're not just old you know you can be very healthy you can be young you can be living you can be active and and so not believing that lie anymore and neo life so promotes that and that's what I love is is in football I want to be healthy I'm never going to start being like, oh, I'm just getting beat up and whatever. It's like, no, I'm, I'm going to be the most healthy, best athlete. You know, just I want to take my career as far as the Lord will let me, as long as he'll let me um, for years. And you know, my desire would be for years and years to come um, and to have a lot of success. And that, like I've told God, that's what I desire. And, and I'm just going to continue to work and then trust him with that. Um, and then past that, just a very healthy lifestyle. I play music and I sing, and but then I just love an active lifestyle, you know, hiking, traveling, 
doing doing everything. I'll always be an athlete and competing and and so I see Neil Life just being, you know, influential in my life past just football, but but it's just an active lifestyle and a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Um, which is so far beyond a sport. Um, so I'm excited for that for sure. Yeah. I couldn't couldn't agree more. And uh, again, I thank you so much for taking time to let me interview here you here in the Neil Life Healthy Living Community Facebook group. It's been a lot of fun. You've dropped a lot of golden uh, nuggets here, some great information. And uh, again, thanks again and look forward to seeing you in person hopefully soon. Have a great rest of your day, Cody. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. And by the way, for everyone else, before I hit end here, if you want to learn more about the Neo Life products, as I said in the beginning, please get back to the person that invited you to this Facebook group. I'm sure they'd be happy to help point you in the right direction of the sports line supplements that Cody is taking and was talking about today. So until next time, have a great day. See you, everyone.